In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys about everything that will be released in just a couple of days, the next new Grand Theft Auto Online vehicle, and a whole lot more. Now, before we jump into that, let's talk about what is almost your final opportunity to take advantage of everything that will actually be going away in just a couple of days. Typically, I do this video on a Monday. Today, I'm doing it on a Sunday. So the first thing that will almost be ending, you sort of have like a day and a half left, is to unlock the Studio Los Santos t-shirt. So in order to unlock this, all you have to do is literally log in. So this t-shirt will never be available past this date. So if you want a rare, really cool looking shirt, and if you named your nightclub Studio Los Santos, it's a cool opportunity to uh, you know, match the name of your nightclub with the t-shirt that you can wear inside. It's also your last chance to take advantage of the guest list rewards for this week. So this week you got $100,000 bonus cash, a Galaxy and Los Santos Underground Radio shirt, the O&Us livery for the Anus Stafford, and the Sasanta Nove Multicolor and Pink and Green Camo liveries for the Mammoth Patriot Stretch. So again, last chance to log in and get those. And then it's 25% off of the following properties, renovations, and add-ons. So hangers and renovations, hangar workshop, executive office and renovations, executive office garage and renovations, the custom auto shop, special cargo warehouses, biker clubhouses and renovations, custom bike shop, biker businesses, bunkers, and renovations. And last but not least, you've got the premium race, which is spin drift, locked to the Stromberg, and the time trial, which is Vinewood Bowl. So that is everything that is going to be going away in just a few couple of days. Now, again, the tunables don't traditionally update until very early in the morning on Tuesday, around 4.30 or 5 a.m. So you still have a long time in order to enjoy that, especially if you're gonna be playing over the next day or two. Now let's talk about what Rockstar has confirmed is going to be coming out tomorrow. And really the only two things they've confirmed so far is that we're gonna be getting a new DJ and a new mix on the radio station. So that DJ is gonna be Dixon, Rockstar have confirmed he is coming out on August 7th. And the new mix we're getting is from The Tale of Us. So that means we're gonna be getting a new DJ, a new uh, mission that goes in along with that, new music for our nightclubs, and a little bit more. So that right there has been 100% officially confirmed by Rockstar. Now let's talk about something else that seems to be nearly confirmed. And this is information coming from Insider Yan, who says the B11 Strike Force is going to be added to Grand Theft Auto Online this Tuesday alongside DJ Dixon. So it looks like Rockstar, at a minimum, is going to be adding the Strike Force, the only aircraft of this update. And this is certainly a controversial one. Let's just say that uh, a lot of people are going to love this, uh, you know, new jet. A lot of people are going to dislike it for what it does to free mode. Now, a little bit more intel on the B11 Strike Force. It's going to be available on the Warstock Cash and Carry site, and its price is going to be $3.8 million. No trade price or anything like that. Just one price, $3.8 million. So let's assume that Rockstar is going to do what they did last week, and they end up releasing two vehicles instead of one. Last week, we saw the Stafford and the Blimp. Now, there's no guarantee that Rockstar is going to do that. You know, they might have a 2-1-2-1 pattern, or they might be doing two vehicles at a time. So if that's the case, let's talk about our possibilities. Our possibilities include the Canis Free Crawler, which is available on the Legendary Motorsport site as well. That's a four-door off-road vehicle for $597,000. So we know that that has a possibility of coming out because the Stafford has already been released. So the Canis Free Crawler would be the next one. Now on Warstock Cash and Carry, technically you could say the Oppressor Mark II could come out next, but because the Terabyte has to be released with that, I highly doubt Rockstar would release three vehicles at once. So I think it's safe to say that the Oppressor Mark II will not be coming out tomorrow. And as far as the vehicles on Southern San Andreas Super Autos with the existing ones getting upgraded, I guess the first one we could see is the Gallivanter Baller being added or the Mammoth Patriot. I'm not really too sure if the Gallivanter Baller is like on this list or not because it's been X'd out. So either the Gallivanter Baller or the Patriot, but at a minimum, we know the B11 Strike Force is going to be coming out into the game. So get ready for that, get excited, or if you're disappointed, prepare yourself, because it's coming. Now, in addition to that, we know that this week we're also gonna be getting new guest list benefits. So if you're on the guest list, you can expect to get 
these things. More free money, a cash gift of $100,000, the Technology Nightclub Tee, a free Heavy Night Shark Armored Vehicle, a free Ubermach Revolter Weaponized Sports Car, and then the exclusive Pink and Green Camo and Sassante Nove Multicolor Liveries for the Night Shark and the Revolter. So not only are you getting free cars, but you're getting new liveries on older existing vehicles. So that's kind of awesome. And Rockstar confirmed that this looks like it is the last week of the guest list. However, stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire for more exclusive events coming to Los Santos. Now, what those exclusive events are, I'm not sure. Possibly more free money opportunities or you know things that you can do to earn exclusive items in game like t-shirts and whatnot. Rockstar have a ton of those left in the files. Another thing that Rockstar has confirmed, and I'm sorry I didn't mention this earlier, there's going to be more Facebook streams that they're doing. Now, the Facebook streams are important because this is where you can get yourself free money. And I have friends that have made multi-millions of dollars just by being able to tune into every single Rockstar Facebook stream. Because each stream, they're earning between, you know, 1 million, 1.2, 1.5 million dollars if they do, you know, three streams a week, which they've done six total. That means you can easily have like seven or eight million dollars if you are consistent with the money drops on the stream and you watch every single one. And Rockstar have confirmed that once again this week in online, there's going to be more money drops like that happening on their Facebook live stream. So the second Rockstar gives a schedule, I will let you guys know. I'm not sure when it could happen. It might be during the week. It might be on the weekend. I really don't know. Like I said, when I get a, you know, a full schedule from Rockstar, I will certainly fill you guys in so that I can give you guys the maximum time to prepare and get yourself ready to go for these money drops. Now, other than that, I'm not really too sure what else to expect this week in terms of discounts, bonuses, and sales. I'm sure Rockstar will once again give out another free t-shirt just for logging in. They've been pretty consistent with that over the last two weeks. The discounts we've been seeing have been very like boring and sort of repetitive, just like property discounts. I think it is still way too early to expect uh, discounts on a lot of the new content that's been added, like the nightclubs and the vehicles and clothing. I don't think we will see discounts on those for a good bit. So certainly don't expect anything like that. And really other than that, I would say it's going to be a pretty normal event week. It'll be one week long. There's going to be a premium race and a time trial as well. I haven't done a premium race and a time trial in like six months. So I'm not sure if you guys do might be an okay way to make money, but regardless, at the end of the day, they, they come out in every single event week. Now, I think my theory is still going to hold up that Rockstar is not going to mess with things like adversary modes and a lot of the other hidden content like the tuner sports racing part of this update until all the DJs are out of the way. I think Rockstar really wants to get all of them in the game, get the radio station completely filled out, and then they can start to work on drip feeding adversary modes and the racing part of this update. But until then, I think it's just going to be one DJ, a couple new vehicles, maybe one. Again, I don't know if they're going to be doing two uh, until all of them are out. And uh, then they're going to move on to some of that other stuff. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Are you excited for the B11 Strike Force to be added into the game? I think this is a very controversial vehicle because of how powerful it's going to be in free mode. Uh, needless to say, and this is probably a good tip for this week, be very careful doing things in public sessions. Obviously, the new vehicles are always popular the week they come out. Like, I've seen a ton of enough Staffords this week. But just watch your head in public lobbies because uh, for this week especially, a ton of people are going to be using this jet. They're obviously going to want to try it out. And you don't want them to try it out on your business cargo. So be very careful this week especially. And when they start to release other vehicles like the Oppressor Mark II, that's going to be another time when you kind of got to be careful for about a week or two. Uh, and also, let me know if you think another vehicle is going to be coming out this week. And if so, which one do you think it's going to be? But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully, you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That would be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. If you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.